In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite money plays to call whenever your opponent is running a lot of cover four or a lot of man-to-man, off-coverage man-to-man, like cover one robber or cover zero. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people get better at Madden 22. So if you're looking to get better, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button. Now the play we're going over is from the play PA Dig Fork out of the Gun Bunch Offset. And what I've noticed is that whenever you become really good at running a lot of post routes or four verticals, you're gonna to start to see a lot of this adjustment right here where they're gonna basically play cover four. So I've needed something that is gonna help me be able to beat cover four. So PA Dig Fork out of the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook is going to do just that. Now there's a similar play in the Indianapolis Colts playbook that I'm gonna go over here and just are gonna kind of mention here in just a second. But before I do that, I wanna let you know that guys, we have the best gun bunch guide out in my opinion. We've studied the crap out of this formation this year. Gun bunch is definitely the meta, at least right now, the way the game sits. And I think it will be the meta for the foreseeable future. And so what we've done is we've kind of turned our Seattle Seahawks offensive guide into a gun bunch guide so if there's any other plays out of gun bunch that we like to talk about we've ac actually updated that guide with those plays for example we've added plays like the double post the clear out fln the clear out sc out um the play the play we're going to show you today um and so that's what i'm kind of getting at when i say that we've added some other resources to this guide for you and really have turned the seattle guide into a gun bunch formation guide so you can use this all season long and you can apply this to any bunch in the game so i hope that that's helpful and if you want to get this guide you can get the complete gun bunch guide for just 15 bucks so it's super cheap i'm going to put a link in the description to the guide you can click that link and go pick it up for like i said just 15 bucks now the play in indianapolis that is similar is called pa read uh, and pa read honestly the adjustments are probably going to be literally exactly the same okay literally exactly the same so all we're going to do with this play is we're going to streak the r1 receiver and then we're going to take that square receiver and you can do you can leave him on this route but i prefer to put him on a smart routed out route or a curl route okay that's up to you i'm going to go over that in just a minute but i want to first show this with an out route and what you're going to see is against the cover four defense once that skinny post kind of gets some depth you're just going to pass lead this to the left and he's going to beat cover four drop over the top for an absolute dot now to me this is really important now another thing that i see a lot this is just me talking at this point but this is another thing that i see a lot in competitive madden something that i like to do myself i think this is the best coverage in the game is to put two quarter zones and then to put two outside thirds and the reason i think it's so good is because the the outside thirds they've actually patched the outside thirds this year to where outside thirds tend to do a pretty good job on the outside they just struggle with anything anything up the seam whereas the inside quarters do a good job of stuff at the seam they obviously don't do a good stuff with stuff on the sideline so that's where i kind of came up with this concept right here and this absolutely will kill that coverage so let me show you what i'm talking about you're going to see that if there's an outside third over there and they've just hot routed it it's going to get even more open than it does against the cover four and as you can see we're beating that coverage as well for a one play touchdown now another coverage that you're going to see a lot especially if you're playing in the mcs uh, first tournament of the season you're going to see a ton of this coverage and that's the cover four quarters most pro players feel right now that matches the best coverage simply because it's confusing and it, they stop corner routes right those two reasons well what we can do with match is this play is going to absolutely obliterate match coverage literally off the snap of the ball take a look at this r1 receiver what you're going to see is the skinny post is going to get over the top for a one play score against that cover four uh, quarters r1 is going to pull several of them vertically and really do a great job for you so you're beating cover four quarters for one play you're beating cover four drop for a one play score you're beating cover three for a one play score let me just show you a traditional cover three very vanilla but i just want to show it to you because i want to show you that this concept kills cover three this year so it killed cover three last year, honestly, but especially this year, cover three is just not going to bag this. You're gonna see I'm open by like a quarter mile, man. And we're just able to absolutely dot up the cover three. 
Now, I want to give you another, an additional concept that you can use with this, but real quick, I want to show it against off coverage, man coverage, and I see this a lot. So people will basically try to essentially send a lot of pressure at you, and then they're going to basically run off coverage man, and they're going to shade it over the top. Another concept that I get a lot, especially um, the better the player I play, this is a concept that you'll see a lot. What you'll see is this play causes natural picks and rubs, and you have this really cool route to the R1, and you're going to see that he's going to absolutely torch cover zero over the top of the defense. Even though they shaded up, you still get a press animation this year on the slot receiver. Okay? So another thing that you can do, let's say that they maybe have a, a guy in a zone, for example, like the middle linebacker, and he goes and guards the slot uh, the slot receiver. What you're going to see then is the circle receiver is going to cut underneath him and have a pretty good shot. Now, right there, um, didn't have the route running to, to, to do that. If I would have put Chris Godwin there before the play, that probably would work. You'll see Antonio Brown will nine times out of ten kill that coverage. Every now and then that happens, and if that happens, all you have to do is simply check it down to your uh, tight end. Your tight end is on this little delay curl. So if, if the bomb isn't there, I love just checking it down to the curl or to the running back on that side. But here you see he gets over the top and here I can just lob it over the top. The lob animation, as you see there, I got the out of range. So let me show it to you one more time. And then um, just to show that it can beat this coverage. But this is, this is an absolute laser in my opinion uh, of a dot because the reason, and because you do so much well and you can put r1 on a fade as well if you put r1 on a fade you're going to see there's a little bit more of a natural rub that's going to occur he's really going to get open this time because of that natural rub pass lead to the left and i still got swatted but anyways puts with 90 route running you'll be fine you put Devin hester there you put anybody there with any skill they're going to get it it's just antonio brown is being weird so i'm going to put godwin there just to show that this route um can cook man as long as you have a good route runner there or someone that can actually you know get open antonio brown is not the best um in this game i'm just gonna come out and cover one robber just to show i just want to show you that i'm not crazy on this and normally antonio brown will get open but if you've got like lance allworth or devin hester or um someone like that you're gonna kill this coverage so you'll see here this time there chris godwin cooks him and as you see, just put route tech on him, put slot of matic on him, and it won't even be a chance. Um, so, you know, if you don't have that ability, then yeah, it's a 50-50, but typically you're gonna beat that, beat that coverage. And then the last part of this video, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you another concept that I like to use to bomb cover four, and that is the curls. Um, so what I like to do is I'm gonna put the running back on a curl, and I'm gonna put the square receiver on a curl. The reason I like these curls this year is cover four is one of the harder coverages to bomb because of how good the inside quarters play. So let me just show you what these curls do. Curls typically will just kind of hold them. Um, and then what you'll see here is circle is gonna get much more open over the top than he did originally. And as you see, that, cur that curl route does a really good job of holding that zone so anyways guys that is the video for you guys if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive guide i would encourage you to pick that up um we're literally updating it for the first 30 days any patches that come out will be right on the cusp of that patch and uh, there's already been two patches to the game and we've added updates to them both times so thanks for watching this video and again if you want to get that guide it is just 15 bucks you can get it down in the description below